happy Monday everyone so today I am on location I happen to be at my nephew's birthday party and so I'm stealing away to give this video and someone said how do you heal the root chakra um, and I thought this was a perfect time to actually talk about it because I'm at this party with family and repairing family relations is one way to heal the root chakra and working with crystals um, that are red that are also black to kind of remove any kind of um, you can meditate with those uh, to remove any of the kind of harshness around you and you can put them near your root chakra so your root chakra is like associated with your family your foundation what's helped build you um, what's going to help sustain you and one way to heal that is actually doing something so that's one way meditation um, someone said deities deities to work with Right away, um, for some reason, I think Shango. Um, <clears throat> why? I haven't a clue. Why don't you go research that for yourself? That's just kind of intuitive. And uh, I think of Isis. I think of Aset. Same. Um, I think of those mothering energies, but you also want to look for partners. Another one, Shu and Tefnut. Shu and Tefnut are a um, brother and sister energy. Uh, most most um, if you look through most deities it's always like a family anyway right so if you start bringing together family aspects of those deity groups that you might be interested in and working with them and creating strong foundations with them then you're gonna start building something within yourself and all of them always represent something else but one thing doesn't function without the other right so working with multiple at a time they're within a family structure already is going to help that Ooh, I'm getting really deep right now um, uh, rituals rituals I say this when your root chakra is off balance a lot of things are off balance one thing is um, your finances might may not be the way they the way you want them to be um, you might be having back problems physically um, easily you're easily weak in that back area and also your hips the reason why I say your hips because hips are all about that support and a lot of times the most support that you're really going to get is from your family and if you're not able to receive support or you're giving out so much support but then you're closed off from receiving it you're gonna feel that in your hips um, and your knees as well those knees will start to function in an uh, interesting way so doing things like yoga and stuff to actually strengthen the body is great but also starting to create and doing rituals that even in your imagination that you start to create stronger ties it doesn't mean that your real family is going to be the best family in the world but what you're doing is within yourself nurturing the concept of a strong foundation the color red is a great color for that and I'm trying to think of any other colors red is really what's coming to me but also combining that blue for some reason I'm, I'm saying because that help, helps calm things down as well so from there, I've given you some stuff to play around with, so play around with it. Um, a good time to do this stuff is now. There's never, you don't have to worry about if the planets are aligned, if the moon is the way you want it. You work on this stuff now. I see people maybe like setting up candles, setting up an altar, um, maybe getting little dolls and playing with them. Ooh, uh, playhouse. You know how you set up dolls and you have things, you know, interacting a certain way? Do that. Do that and start light candles up and give that kind of concept energy when things are working together things are working together within you when things are working together within you you have a strong foundation that means your root chakra becomes balanced okay think about the number four a lot um, a number that can hold things so you might want to keep that number of things on your altar um, and I'm trying to think of anything else that's about it. I just let all that stuff flow using this kid energy because these kids are running all around. There's a big bouncy house and um, I'm really enjoying myself. So I want to get back to the party. That was my nephew. I want to get back to the party and um, enjoy myself. But that's how you can heal your root chakra. Really what you're trying to do is balance it and bring it, uh, bring it in balance. And those are the ways to do it. And I'll tell you one way that I've worked with doing it. I watch family vlogs on YouTube and seeing those structures they're not perfect gave me inspiration to build the structure in my mind so I'm gonna give you some quick family vlogs that I really like I like it's Judy's life 
I like Gabe and Babe. I like the Daily Davidsons. Um, those are think those are my three favorites. Uh, I've watched so many others, but those are the ones that say, "Oh, oh, oh!" I'm sorry, Dear Natural. Love Dear Natural, but she doesn't make daily vlogs. It's like kind of maybe weekly. So um, that's why she cut. But I was just watching a great one. So those are inspirations. Those are things that you can fill your little world with and begin to heal that. And even if you don't have a family right now, it will inform your life if you're having those difficulties, okay? All right. Much love to everyone and have a happy, happy Monday. I hope this has given you what you needed. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> you're cheesing now? Thank you. <laughs> bye. Ha, 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 ha.